Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how you can build your own face recognition systems in Go. Now the whole area of face recognition is something that I absolutely love reading about and being able to implement one yourself makes you sound as though you're Tony Stark building some next gen cutting edge stuff. Now in this tutorial we're going to be building our own really simple face recognition based system in Go using a few existing libraries. We're going to start by building some very simple face recognition based off from still images and seeing how that works and then hopefully in the second part of this mini series we're going to be building some real time face recognition systems. Now for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to be using the Kagami slash GoFace package which essentially wraps around the DLib machine learning toolkit. Now Kagami actually wrote about how you went about writing this package and it's definitely an interesting read and I'll be leaving a link to that in the description below. Now the DLib toolkit for those of you who don't know or aren't familiar with it is a toolkit that's been built up in C++ and is incredible at both face recognition and ob object recognition slash detection. According to its documentation it scores around 99.4% accuracy on detecting labelled faces in the wild benchmark which is absolutely incredible and it's the reason why so many other third party libraries utilise it as their base. Now if you're interested in seeing the Python equivalent of this and how you would do it using the Python language then I would recommend you check out my Python version of this tutorial which has received some absolutely incredible support and received over 25,000 views so far. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Okay so now for the fun part, let's actually start setting up our environment and writing some code. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is to install package config and dlib and that can be done using the brew install command. Now don't worry about this, I'll be leaving a link or I'll be leaving the exact commands you have to run on your machine in the description below. The next thing you're going to want to do is to run a sed command and this one's slightly more complex and looks something like this. And again, don't worry about it. I'm going to be leaving this in the description below. Once you've written those two or executed those two commands, we can then go about installing the Kagami GoFace package. Now we can do that by doing go get minus u github.com slash Kagami slash go minus face. And that'll go away and it'll ensure that we've got the latest version on our machine. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is to ensure that you have the images and the .data files needed for this tutorial. Now these are going to be included in the GitHub repository and I'll be leaving a link to where you can get that again in the description below. But essentially once you've got these we can start writing some code. Now open up a main.go file within your project directory. We're going to start off by typing package.main and then we're going to import both fmt and the Kagami package. So Kagami and go minus face. Next what we're going to want to do is to define the data directory that we're going to be housing all of our images and the data files in. So const data dir equals and in this case I'm just using the images directory. And next we're going to want to define our main function that will kick off our entire Go program. We start off by doing an fmt.println and I'm going to do facial recognition system v0.01 and just below this I'm going to kick off a new recognizer so rec or error equals face dot new recognizer and I'm going to initialize this with the data directory which contains these dot date files or dot that fails. Below this I'm going to check to see if there were any errors so if error does not equal nil I'm then going to do fmt.println and error thrown creating new recognizer and fmt.println the error. And below this we're going to want to defer the closing of our recognizer so defer rec.close like so. Next what we're going to want to do is to ensure that everything's running as expected so go run main.go and just quickly I'm going to quickly fix this kagami like so and go main.go once again 
you should see facial recognition system v1 is up and running and no errors have been thrown so everything is working as expected up till this point so i guess the first thing we're going to want to do is to test out to see whether this package works now the first test we're going to be doing is to accurately count the number of faces in a photograph so for the purpose of this tutorial i will be using the tony stark image now, as you can see, there is only one image or one person within this image. So we should be expecting to see only one returned when we count the number of faces in this image. Come back into our main.go file. And just before or just after our deferred dot close, we want to do the following. So Tony Stark image equals file path dot join. And we're going to join our data directory and the name of the file so tony minus stark dot jpeg below this we then want to count the number of faces so faces or r equals rec dot recognize file and we're going to pass in tony stark image and again as we're handling an error if error does not equal nil then we're going to do log dot fatal if can't recognize face and just below we're going to count the number of faces or print the number of faces so fmt.println number oops number of faces and image is equal to and we're going to do length faces and i'm just being lazy oops and should probably change this to a format string but i'm not going to do that for now i'm just gonna be lazy so let's see if this runs so go run main.go and face recognition system number of faces in an image is equal to one excellent so we know that's working as expected now let's try one of the avengers 01 or 02 images so come back in here and let's just change this to avengers 01 and run it again and everything worked as expected and we can see that avenger 01 does indeed have two faces within that image perfect awesome so we've been able to calculate the number of faces in an image but that's fairly boring in the grand scheme of things now let's take this example a little bit further and trying to recognize certain people based off reference images so for example if i was to pass in a, an image of tony stark like this one I want my program to be able to say, okay, I am confident that this is Tony Stark. Now to do that, we will need reference images. And for this, I have my Avengers 02.jpg file, which contains four distinct Avengers. We get Doctor Strange, Tony Stark, Bruce Banner, and Wong. Excellent. So let's update our main.go file and start to do some recognition. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is to create a generic Avengers file. So Avengers or Avengers image, we'll call it, equals filepath.join data directory, and we're going to call this Avengers 02.jpg. Next, we're going to want to count or recognize all of the faces from that image. So faces or air equals rec.recognize file and pass in that Avengers image. Again, let's handle that error. So if air does not equal nil log dot fatal f can't recognize file just say that for now next we want to fmt dot print line number of faces and image number of faces and image and again i'm just going to be lazy length faces and below this, we are going to want to do the following. So var samples equals an array of type face dot descriptor. And below this, we're going to want to do var avengers is an array of type int32. Now we're going to be populating these two arrays very shortly. So for i and f in range faces, we're going to want to do samples equals append and samples f dot descriptor and below this we want to do the following so avengers equals append 
Avengers and int 32 and our i value like so. Fix that small typo. And then we're going to want to build up our list of labels. So labels equals string array. And the first one is Doctor Strange. Next one is Tony Stark. Third is Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner. And the final one is Wong. So the final thing we want to do here is to set our samples. So rec.set samples and pass in samples and Avengers. Now what this bit of code essentially does is it will take an image, it will rip out all of the faces and it will define a, an array of face descriptors. Now, once we've got an array of face descriptors, we can then use these as the samples to base our future recognition attempts off of. So if we were then to pass in an image of Tony Stark to here, we should be able to match, match that with an existing face descriptor. So let's try that now. So just below rec.set samples, we're going to want to do the following. So test Tony Stark equals failpath.join data directory and Tony minus Stark.jpg. Just below this, we want to do Tony Stark or error equals rec.recognize record nice single file this time and pass in our test Tony Stark file and then we're going to handle the error so if error does not equal nil log.fatal faced error with file and we're going to pass in our error to our format string here now, just below this, we want to then get the Avenger ID from this. So Avenger ID equals rec.classify Tony Stark dot descriptor. And if we say the Avenger ID is less than zero, then we say it can't classify that image or it can't classify that person based off the ex existing database of descriptors. So we want to say can't classify based off existing database. And finally, we want to do the following. So fmt.println Avenger ID and fmt.println labels Avenger ID, like so. Now, when we run this, we should essentially see that uh, Tony Stark is printed out. It's able to recognize that the person within this image is indeed Tony Stark based off of the bank of face descriptors that we built up earlier. So if we try run this now, go run main.go, you can see that it runs through it, detects there's four faces and it describes them all. And then it matches the image within Tony Stark against number one which is the ID for Tony Stark. Awesome, so we've got our face recognition system up and running. Now, just to let us verify that things are working appropriately, let's try add a different test. So let's try to say Doctor Strange. Now, just for the interest of time, I'm just gonna change the file into here. So Doctor Strange, go run main.go. And as you can see, recognizes its ID zero and it matches the face descriptor of Doctor Strange. Now, finally, one last test is Wong. So go run main.go once again, and perfect. We see that it's worked for three out of the four different test cases, so we're fairly confident that this is gonna work going forward. So that's all for this tutorial. We've managed to create a really simple face recognition system that is able to classify who certain people are based off a database of prior known faces. Now, if you enjoyed this, then please let me know in the comment section down below, leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more programming content. Again, I'll be leaving the full version of this source code in the GitHub repository. Again, I'll be leaving a link to that in the description below. Now, cheers.